serving in the United States Air Force shaving kit. We have a little case with cigars in it. This case is a travel humidor. This is called a humipack, which keeps the cigars in proper humidity. If you ever smoke cigars, you know that's important. Mm -hmm. They dry out. If you dry out, they no they're, 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 they're not good anymore. So you've got to keep them at a proper humidity. They've got to have, they have to have certain things within them. Moisture. And uh, that's what that humipack and this, uh, this case here serves to do, is to make sure that those cigars stay the way they're supposed to be. Sometimes as Christians, we dry out. You have one of those days? Amen. Where the joy of the Lord isn't there. Your prayers, we have a high ceiling. So if you have a ceiling, it's like your prayers aren't even about to the ceiling. They aren't even making it that high. And you just feel dry and wasted, ready just to blow away like, like, a, like an old leaf in the fall. And part of that is you haven't maintained proper humidity. You don't have what in you to be able to face what's out there. You need to be able to have the joy of the Lord as your strength to be able to face those trying times. You need to be refreshed in those times of dryness. To do that, there are some things you need to maintain. One of those is a constant prayer life. We're to pray. <coughs> Paul says pray without ceasing. So a constant attitude of prayer, constantly open to God, not just so that we can talk to Him, but so that He can speak to us. The best way He speaks to us is through His Word. So you also need to have a constant prayer life and a constant Bible study life. Down at Temple, they've got a, uh, on their, every month they print out a calendar. It has a month, a daily Bible reading to be able to read through the Bible in a year. Which is a good thing to do. Now you need to spend, even if you're not doing that, you need to spend time reading God's Word. And, and, and James, our preaching group, says not only read it, do it. Another thing you need, writer of Hebrews says, to not forsake the gathering together. Often we think of that as being worship. And I think that's very important. But what the writer of Hebrews is talking about was fellowship. Don't forsake the gathering together of the saints. Because when we're together, we build one another up. You have ideas and experiences that I don't have. I have some that you don't have. And as we share together, we grow together. So keep those things in mind. That when you're feeling dry, useless as a dry, toasty cigar, no flavor left. When you're feeling that way in your life, that your life is just dried out and you have nothing left to give. Get rehumidified. Spend time in prayer. Time studying God's Word. Time in fellowship with other Christians. And God will renew that joy of the Lord within your heart and life.